Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. The Bubble Up Pure Aero Rafa Origin is something special. It is a racket made to Rafa Nadal specifications, meaning the racket has a strong swing weight around 370, a head heavy balance or close to one, and weighs around 340 grams strong. Can a mere mortal play with such a weapon is the obvious question. Before I hit with it, like I mentioned in my preview, I would say of course not. Now I would say no still, but it's actually a fun racket to use, so this surprised me a great deal. This is something all players that tested this racket agreed with me on, it was not easy to play, but fun. First let's talk about the cosmetic, this is a polarizing topic of course. When I do my testing sessions I bring a lot of rackets around, people sometimes stop me and ask what is that racket, what are you doing with your life and other questions. Some players love the cosmetic, some thought it looked like some kind of candy floss, it seemed to be a big hit among women, which is perhaps hinting that the regular, lighter Pure Aero Rafa will be a success. I use Bubble Up RPM Blast 1.25 gauge at 26 kilos or 57 pounds. Stiffness is pretty high, did feel pretty well dampened though, quite similar to the regular Pure Aero, the latest edition, which has very good dampening. This one feels pretty okay on the arm, I would say, for what it is, but the weight might be a problem. 1619 pattern, a little bit denser, and it's also important to point out that the lighter Pure Air Rafa has the 2019 string pattern, and this racket has the 2023 string pattern, the new Pure Arrow. It's not exactly the same string pattern from what I can tell, measuring it compared to a personal Rafa racket to the Bubble Up Aero Pro Drive original that Rafa uses. I don't know if he's ever changed it, I haven't seen any really recent personal frames from him but it's not exactly the same string pattern, but it plays like a racket that Rafa would use. These specs are from Tennis Warehouse, pretty much spot on with the ones I got on my test racket. The potential issue here is if one of the rackets comes in over spec, which tends to happen sometimes with the lack in quality control. There's also another thing that surprised me uh, with this frame, and it's that I put synthetic gut uh, as the base string, and nobody's gonna play with that to buy this racket that is so heavy and, and so difficult so i would have preferred if they put the actual rafa string like a thick gauge rpm blast in it uh, so yeah a little bit of a surprising decision by babola quick sponsor break thanks to this video sponsor fussy yellow balls a shout out to their singles playbook which teaches you how to beat different types of opponents pushers baseliners serving volleyers and more using smart patterns of play it does that using these illustrations and videos for each chapter. I bought this book before they asked to sponsor the YouTube channel, so I'm a fan and I only accept sponsors I actually like. Okay, so back to the Pure Aero Rafa. How does this racket play? Well, Babala has taken a page out of the Wilson RF97 autograph playbook, that's clear. This is actually a playable racket. It's not gonna be for everyone. I'm sure a lot of players will buy it and not really enjoy it. And a lot of players will buy it and hang it on the wall that's the different target groups. The regular Pure Aero 2023, which I really like, has the same string pattern as this one, a more manageable weight, feels very similar in many ways, so it feels like this one is a beefed up Pure Aero 2023. Maybe not exactly Rafa's racket, cannot say 100%, but that's, ju judging by the grommets and so on, doesn't seem to be exact the personal Rafa, but it plays like it could be the personal Rafa, so I'm gonna cut them some slack there. Uh, it's quite well dampened, more controlled thanks to the denser string pattern, tank of a racket, but you can't afford to be late on your footwork and your preparation, of course. But when you do, when you connect with the ball properly, it's a thing of absolute beauty. You absolutely can smack the ball for a winner. You feel like the racket does most of the work, which is an amazing feeling. However, and there's always an however, that sloppiness of the footwork and preparation will happen to most club level players and most even very advanced players will be punished. So I tried this with obviously quite strong players as well and it was a punishing racket. Everyone liked it from all different levels. And I would give you a warning sign here, with this type of swing weight, potentially the stiffness, you might get some wrist and arm issues if you try to swing this fast. So. Be uh, cautious out there, don't try to go for a racket just because Rafa plays with it. You use something that uh, is healthy for you to use and you play well with it anyway. So that's what I always say, you know, you don't need to buy a racket just because XYZ, you should play with what works for you. 
I found it worked quite well on flatter shots, I must say. Uh, it was more demanding to swing fast for top spin. This is not like a racket that works for racket head speed, unless maybe you're Rafa Nadal. Okay, so let's go stroke by stroke, starting with the serve. As I noticed in my video where Andre Meinerts and I tested some bubble rackets, this is a tough racket when you go over the head. It's tough to serve with. So this one was a very uh, fun thing to try, uh, to play with the specs of Rafa. Um, I, I was expecting it to be very difficult to play with and a pain in the arm, to say it. Uh, but I mean, for me, it felt very good. And uh, with this racket, the racket plays for you more or less. So when you swing it, you don't have to use, uh, use so much power from your arm. So you just let the racket go. And I don't know why, but it was like, it always turned out to go down and go inside of the court. Yeah, massive spin. Yeah. That one, yeah. And, uh, and then for me, it was, it was good, but with serving with this, it's very tough. The racket wants to go down too quick. And uh, for the slice, it's good. Kick serve is difficult, flat, you can work with it. Yeah. But you have to be very strong to make a good kick serve with this. Yeah. However, I did play some points and sets, and I wouldn't say it gives me a much worse serve than other rackets. I don't live and die with my serve as a, as a rec player, but a guy who smacks the ball with a quick motion will find it sluggish, and it was quite tough on overhead. Uh, but decent serve weapon uh, depending on your style of serve, I would say. Ground strokes from the back of the court, this racket delivered heft, plow through, as long as you move your feet fast enough. Uh, the ball is noticeably heavy when you receive it, so if I'm on the other end of someone using this racket, I will feel that the ball is heavy. It's a tough one, even if they don't hit with a lot of spin, because there's so much weight behind the shot. So if you're a fan of heavy rackets, you always enjoyed heavy rackets, I think you will really enjoy this one. But it will be too heavy for most players, especially if you like to have a bit more whippier stroke with lots of racket head speed. When it comes to volleys, it's obviously very, very solid, but it's also a bit slow. Uh, the dense string pattern gives you good control, but I prefer volleying with the regular pure arrow because I can move it around a bit quicker. And that helps obviously when you have quick reaction volleys and so on. You can choke up a bit on the handle, which I would recommend to make it a tad more maneuverable. But I wouldn't say the volley is a strong point of this racket uh, because it's going to be kind of tough to move around. When it comes to the slice, this racket is a hammer and can send slice shots down the other side like a knife through butter. So it's an excellent racket if you like to carve at the ball. It really felt like I could get some penetrating backhand slices. So for that stroke, it worked really well for me. The touch is good on impact, but it's relatively heavy, obviously, for quick adjustments if you want to play like Alcara style, you know, we just fake a forehand and go for a drop shot. Here, I think the lighter weight of the regular pure arrow is much better. So to summarize what to say about this beast of a racket, I was highly skeptical before I played with it, but actually it performed really well and it was a lot of fun to play with. Uh, I actually came back to it over and over again, even if I was testing other rackets. Uh, the weight of shot, the plow through, stability is quite addictive here. There's obviously a Rafa effect to the appeal of this racket, but the racket actually performs better than expected. And I... Don't expect, though, that a lot of players will make a switch to this racket. It's not a racket I will play in matches. It's a fun racket for half an hour's hit or something you put on the wall, you take it out once in a while. Uh, but it's just too much racket for serious match play in the long run. But maybe you're a Rafa fan who just wants to hang this on the wall or a racket nerd who loves to take it out for a hit once in a while. I think this racket delivers for these types of target groups. For players who want the racket to use in matches, I think this is a little out of reach and the regular pure arrow is a better choice. I think the lighter one, and I will get to that in my next review, is a bit too light for most players and the string bed is a bit too open for my taste. But if you like the 2019, I think the 290 gram pure arrow alpha with maybe some weight will be a good racket, but we'll get to that. So, Bablar surprised me in several ways. Just releasing this racket was a surprise. I hope now head follows with the Djokovic racket that's actually similar to his actual frame. And uh, I would bring it along in my bag for that extra little bit of vamos from time to time. If you want to support the channel, please use the links in the description, whether it's joining Patreon, buying something from my friends at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only or some of my other affiliates. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the review. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.